the race for governor of California. The primary is tomorrow. That's right. Voters will select the top two candidates who will then face off come November. Kick on I Play reporter Dave Bryan joins us now to show us the front runners and what message they are sending to the voters on this night before the election. Night day. before. They were everywhere today. And if you don't believe, you know, the, if you believe that is, the, the, the experts, they say that this is really a battle for second, for the it second is, spot, yeah. you know. The battle for the second spot in tomorrow's primary for governor is literally going down to the wire, with several major candidates still holding campaign events on primary day. That's tomorrow. And at least one of those candidates scheduled events late into Monday night, one last attempt to convince undecided voters to go their way. With the hours running short before the in-person primary voting begins, former L.A. Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa told his supporters in Whittier at a Monday night rally that the difference between him and the other candidates is that he's actually done the heavy lifting while they have just talked about it. I think the biggest difference between me and the other candidates is the track record. You know, I already said it. Built three light rail lines and one busway, nearly doubled the school uh, graduation rate. But trailing in recent polls, Villaraigosa was scheduled to campaign late into the night. On the final primary campaign day of the 2018 race for governor, Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom barnstormed the state from San Diego to San Francisco. At a rally of supporters with the Domestic Workers Union, Newsom said his own party, the Democrats, have some serious work to do. I think the issue of affordability. Um, and I think our biggest critics are right about that. I'm a Democrat, and I'm going to take some count. That's happened on our watch. The homeless issue is out of control. It's unacceptable. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, Newsom campaign volunteers were working hard at a text bank, where instead of phoning voters, they sent them text messages. We're going to get to about half a million probably today, not just here in San Francisco, but we've got all over the state, all over the country, really. Thank you all for being here. Sorry I'm late. Republican John Cox actually cast his ballot at an early voting station in the San Diego area. And he told reporters a Republican could do a better job running California than the Democrats, and he's the one who could get it done. It's about time the people of this state got a better job done by their leaders, and that's what we're going to get in November when they elect me as governor. State Treasurer John Chung brought his campaign to San Francisco's Chinatown. To provide the leadership that's required for the future of the state of California. Now, the two other major candidates for governor were also making last minute appeals to voters. In fact, Republican State Assemblyman Travis Allen still has three more rallies tomorrow on primary day in Riverside, downtown LA, and Santa Ana. And former Superintendent of Public Instruction Delane Easton also has three campaign events on Tuesday, starting in San Diego and ending up at a coffee shop on Wilshire Boulevard in LA. Back to you guys. Dave, let's expand a little bit more on what you said about this. Appears to be the race for number two and not for that number one vote getter, the poll getter, if you will. That's right. Is that going to be disruptive at all tomorrow, you think? Do you think there's going to be some races that will come up as a surprise? I think there will be some. I, I, I really do. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's because of the top two system or not, but remember, what we have been seeing is that candidates of their own, of the same party, are viciously attacking one another in some cases in order to get that number two spot. And by the same token, you also see, uh, for example, in the governor's race, you saw a situation where one of the candidates allegedly was criticizing uh, a candidate from the other party because he wanted the campaign, the uh, candidate from the other party to get second place rather than another Democrat. So, yeah, yeah this, this thing is changing hour by hour. And a lot of money being spent. It's not even November yet. <laughs> That's right? absolutely right. Yeah.